Alright, first what we need to do, this this is Nintendo Zerg. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a cool wallpaper for your desktop or whatever. Um, kind of like this one, I'll show you one at the end. A couple of them that I've made already. Um, it's very easy, uh, what you need is paint.net. Uh, I'll put a link in the description and you can use that. Anyway, after you get done downloading that, open it up and you'll have them here and then after that uh come over here to the color thing uh palette and choose your color for your background so uh say let's have red and come over here to the paint bucket tool click that and then click and then it'll make your background red after that we need to come over to the shapes they're down in the toolbox in the bottom part of it and you can choose any shape I'm just going to choose a couple of those and choose a different color I will choose uh, blue I'll choose blue and then if you come up here to uh, brush with width you can change the uh, size of it so I'll change 27 and then all you're going to do is make a couple sh circles just pieces there there you can even change the color of the circle a couple times if you'd like. I will change it now. Change it to greenish. There, now you got a cool little thing so far. After that, you don't want just a couple of circles on a thing, that's kind of boring. So after that, we go up to effects right here. And go down to distort. And you have all these options here. I like to do crystal, I like the effect it does, as you can see there, and you can choose the cell size and the quality, so I want it bigger, which you can't even hardly, circle, just say I'd like it, about like that, about like that, hit OK, and then it'll load, and now you have that effect, go back to effects and uh, distort, and then go to, uh, you can choose whatever you'd like in here, say tile, no. How about frosted makes it a kind of a frosted type feel there. You can change the size like that, make it bigger, better. All right, that kind of blurred it you know, your eyes, but it's cool. And then after that, go back to effects and go to blurs, and you can choose any of these blurs. You don't have to. I'm just kind of giving you an example of what to do. Sometimes blurs can make your eyes hurt, so uh, don't do too much. Weird. Then you have this cool little effect. I really like. And then after that, when you get done messing around with all your stuff and you get done making your thing, messing around with all the effects that you can do. Then over the file and save as and save it where you'd like to save it so I'll save it in my pictures there's me and then go to save it name it whatever you want like that and then hit ok and it's saved and then if you go if you go to your desktop and right click go to properties then Go over to desktop, go over to browse, and then find your uh, find your picture that you just made, which is right here. Hit open, and then apply. And then it will apply your um, wallpaper for your desktop. Now, as you can see, I have applied my wallpaper. Which your guys just probably look better in mine. Anyway, that's how you do that. And uh, thanks for watching.